Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Uh, we're doing something similar but different. Yeah, it'll be fun. If that makes sense. Um, so before we get into what we're doing, we want to welcome you to our channel, obviously. We thank you for watching. I'm Stuart. And I'm Joelle. Uh, and this is 2 Max Try. Uh, you know, if you get a chance, check out our social media stuff that will appear at the bottom of the screen here. Right here. Uh, yeah, so give that a look. Give that a check. Um, at some point, we will get back to updating the blog. Yeah, I kind of know. That's all on me. Falling into disarray there. I have there, but, done a very bad job. Um, and there is a lot of material coming up at some point with Disney and things like that, so keep it. It's just that. swimming through the sea of videos and then figuring out what we need to fill in there right. with, like, voiceovers. Yeah. Is a lot of work. Yeah. And we so. just haven't had time yet. And with Joel being sick, that kind of hinders a lot of stuff, too. I've been so. out of commission for about two weeks. Yeah, since we got back from Disney, so... Um, but anyway, uh, we want to get into this video uh, today. A few weeks back, we posted a video of a Hornings Hall, and you saw a bunch yes. of chips that we got. Uh, we'll I'll link that in the description Try to remember below. to link that down below, um, so you can get a look at that. And this video is us trying those chips that we have different flavors of. And some of them we have tried before. Some of them we haven't. So I don't know if I remember trying many of these. Oh, I've had these, and they are oh. awesome. <laughs> okay. So we're going to... Taste test them, so we'll rank them uh, just on a scale of 1, one to 10, 10 like we usually do. Right. But then we're going to rank them according to flavor. Like so, best to worst. Right. Um, which. And we'll try and set them out right in front of us here so that you guys can see them. Um, just so that you're aware, there is some bias because yeah. everyone has bias when it comes to things like that. Like, and there are some things that I like that you don't like. Right. And vice versa. Like, for example, I have high hopes for the salt and vinegar chips because I'm a huge fan of and salt and I vinegar chips. And I don't like salt and vinegar chips at all. And I am just absolutely horrified by the sweet potato chips because I hate sweet potatoes. And I so. love sweet potato <laughs> chips. So we will try to do this as fairly as possible. There uh, might be some fighting. There might be. But we'll that's see how it goes. Good YouTube content. I guess so. So um, without further ado, let's jump into these. Um, I don't know where we want to start. How about we start with just the plain? There are no plain. Oh, did we not get just We regular? don't have plain. Oh. Oh, I guess before we get into this, this is from a company called Diefenbox, and that is a local potato chip company to central Pennsylvania. Like um, the Redding area, kind of. Yeah, sort of. So, Berks County, Redding, yeah. that type of thing. Um, so, but they are in just about every grocery store that you... Around here. Around I don't think here. you would find them nationally. I don't think uh, they're national. I'm not sure if you can buy them online or not. You'd have to look. Oh, them. maybe. If um, they're, if you can, we'll link the website down below. Yeah, we'll link the below. website below to their, uh, to their site so you can check them out. I thought these were plain. No, oh, darn. Not we don't plain. have plain. We no just plain. have the flavored. Just the flavored ones. Um, Different flavors. So, you want to start with salt and vinegar because sure, you think you're going to... Um, so... See, they'll be able to see them. Okay. So, cow, cow chips, salt and vinegar. I'm looking forward to these. Yeah, gluten free. Gluten free. I'm not, but maybe they'll clear the nasal passage. Oh, I love the smell of salt and vinegar chips. Love it. Oh, I can smell those. They actually don't <laughs> smell that bad. Maybe it's just because I can't smell very well. That could well, be. So. But they actually smell all right. Hopefully, Joelle's taster won't be off too much. So. Yeah. My all right, let's go. Oh, those aren't that bad. Mm, I love them. I love salt and vinegar chips. Because um, the vinegar is subtler, I think. Maybe, maybe it's because you're sick, but I don't know. It's a pretty aggressive vinegar to me. But Oh, you think so? Um, I like them. Um, but to be fair, they will be like middle of the ground. Probably. So like we have, what, six bags here? We do. So they'll be around three or four just to start well, up. Let's put them in the middle. Mm-hmm. There. And we'll start there. Now, what would you give them out of 10? Oh, I would give those a 10. 10 oh, out of 10. okay. I would give them like a 5. Because mm -hmm. I think that maybe it's because I'm sick. I don't know. But I would eat those. Yeah. I don't mind them so much. So. And these are nice because they're not like, sometimes you get kettle chips and they're, they're, like like they're crack really your crunchy. These are not. These are a nice crunch, nice crunch to yeah. them. So I'm okay with setting them at uh, the middle, middle ground for, for now. now. But okay. don't move up. We're going to fight later. <laughs> Let's do the other kind of weird ones. Okay. So now we have bacon and cheddar. Yeah, these are the bacon and cheddar. <coughs> I'm Hickory interested. smoked bacon oh, and cheddar. Oh, I'm interested to see what the bacon flavor is going to be like. Because sometimes when you have like bacon flavored things, it's mm -hmm. just like smoke flavored. Yeah. And that right. I don't love. Now, in all honesty, we did not get 
the sweet ghost pepper flavor. No, they have a super spicy flavor. Yeah, they we pass on tend to pass on that type of stuff. But, uh, yeah, let's. And I'm because interested it's in hickory smoked bacon, I bet it's going to be a smoky flavor. Right. So, I don't know what to tell you what they smell like. Uh, no? Mm -mm. Let's see if I can smell them. You probably won't be able to. It was a very subtle smell. I smell some of it, but I think it's more cheese. Mm. Okay, let's right. do it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's that very familiar smoky bacon flavor. Fake bacon flavor. Mm -hmm. um, I don't get a whole lot of cheddar. Maybe no, I don't either. Um, but it's got like that burnt aftertaste. Mm hmm. That's kind of there, so it is that it's definitely smoky. It's got that hickory smoke there. Um, I'm definitely gonna rank these below the salt and onion chips. Yeah, me they're too. not bad. Um, I would rate them maybe around a six ish. Like, I would snack on these, but like, I wouldn't. I think like... I would rate them a six as well, mm -hmm. but combined. Like our two scores combined are there below the salt yeah. and vinegar chips. Right, so we're definitely gonna set those. Oh, so this is the worst and yeah, this is those, the best. Yeah, as it gets towards me. Stuart is the worst fine. and I'm the yeah. best. Well, you know, that's the way it ends up working. All right. <laughs> I, hopefully you'll get to see it. I don't know if we filmed it or not, but at Disney we ate at like an Asian restaurant. Well, kind of. But they had um, fortune cookies at the end of the meal. Oh. And Stuart's fortune was like, everybody thinks you're, you're the best. You're the greatest or something like that, yeah. Yep. And so yep. that was the thing the whole week. It's a fortune well, cookie, so Stuart's you can't, the best. You you can't, can't argue with yeah, it. You can't argue with it. So, uh, All right, let's, let's do this one. No, you Let's go with those nasty potato, sweet potato chips. Oh, not nasty. Let's get those out of the there way. There we go, sweet potato chips. I'm excited about these. I'm a big fan of sweet potato chips. And I think oh. I might have had these before. I can't remember. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. They stink. Mm -mm. Oh, and I got a big one. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. I love sweet potatoes. Ugh. Whenever we go out to eat and there's sweet potatoes on the menu, I always get them because I can't cook them at home because I'd have to eat them all. Because I hate them. Because he doesn't like them. He says they taste orange. <laughs> I, yeah, that's what I say. Oh, those are really corn food. Mm. Mm. Yeah. As far as sweet potato chips go, I've had better. Yeah. I'm going to give those a 3 out of 10. I do not like Oh, yuck. I'm going to give them a 7. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do not like those. Yeah. I have never liked... They're very strong in the sweet potato flavor. Um, very natural, I would say. Yeah. Like, there's nothing added to mm -hmm. it. I mean, the only thing that's really different, obviously, there is that between a regular sweet potato is these are crunchy. Like, that's right. basically... So, if you like that natural sweet potato flavor, you're going to like Can these. Can I put them above this, but below that? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't rate them that high. <clears throat> yeah, but I think... I definitely like these better than... Yeah, but I like these better than those. Well, we can split the difference there. Yeah. But I put them below the What matters there. right now... Is the salt and vinegar is winning at this point. Just wait till you get to these. Then so. we're gonna fight. <laughs> All right. So what's okay. next? I think we do the dill pickle one thing and I'm okay. Over. <laughs> All right, New York deli dill. And I am not a fan of dill pickles. Yeah, I think we. One of our recent yum boxes, I think, had a dill flavored potato chip. Yeah, but it was like a natural dill. Right. And um, I don't know what the difference is between natural dill and New, New York, York deli, deli dill. dill but is it going to have other flavors with it, you think? Um, I have no clue. It certainly just smells like a dill pickle. This is, apparently they have like a flavors across America thing. Right, and that's what the... These are. Yeah, the Wisconsin cheddar. Yeah, those are so too. good. So... Ugh. It smelled <laughs> just Joelle like a dill pickle. loves like sweet gherkins and bread and butter pickles yes. that have the sweeter yeah, taste. But, she ooh. doesn't like dill. I really don't. Like if you get a dill pickle with a sandwich, I give it to Stuart. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And they taste just like a dill pickle. It tastes like a dill pickle. Um, I like these better than the, like the natural dill chips that we had. Um. 
I think these have a vinegary tang to them that mm -hmm. the other ones didn't. Right. The others are just straight dill. Um, so these are not as bad. Um, Here's where we're going to fight. Is this where we're going to fight? I'm yeah. going to rate these at about a five. Mm. I give them a four. Four? Okay. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, based on our ratings, that technically puts them below just below the, the sweet potato chips. And that's where I would put, well, now I might put them below the bacon and cheddar. I would put them above the sweet potato chips. Um, so why don't this we split the This would be a bag difference? that I would not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Right, I mean, it's not a flavor that we would buy. And don't worry, they will get eaten, whether we eat them or we feed them to the youth group that we work with. Um, or we take them to Noah's birthday Yeah, or today. they will get eaten. Yeah. Um, that's right, we are going to a birthday party later today, so we can take all of these and just... We definitely can. Let them have at them. Yep. All right, why don't we split the difference? Let's put them... I just want the record to show that I would put these all the way at the bottom. No. Yes. They're not. I would put them below the bacon and cheddar chips. No, I don't, I don't agree with that, but... I love how we've left the, the, two, <laughs> the two front spots for my two ones mm. that I think I'm going to like. Well, because I'm going to tell you we're going to disagree on sour, uh, sour cream and onion. Well, we, we can so disagree, disagree but those. I'm still right. <laughs> All right. So, which let's, are we going to go with? Let's do these because I think you're going to like these two. I probably will like the... So let's do those. I love sharp cheddar. Who doesn't love a nice sharp cheddar? And if I ever, I've had these, and if I remember correctly, they're really good. So, I've never been a fan of sour cream and onion. I don't know why. It's um, such a good flavor. I don't know either, but... Ugh. Sour cream and onion is my favorite flavor of chips, I think. Like, if I'm mm. going to eat chips without dip, it's sour cream. And for me, it's salt and vinegar. Like, yeah. that's just the way that... Which works out really stuff. well, because if we buy chips mm -hmm. and we buy them in our flavor, the other person is not going right. to eat them. Yeah, so you stuff. always know that they're going to be there for yep. you. All right, so let's give you the <laughs> shot. Mm. These are super good. They're not bad. Um. Mm. They're like way above sweet potato chips. Why well, I just don't like sweet potato chips, but yeah, I can't. I will give those a seven. Mm, I think wow. as far as salt or um, sour cream and onion chips go, they're pretty good. I give them a nine because I'm holding out a ten for those. Um, maybe just over time, my oh. taste buds are changing. So you gave them a seven, and I gave them a nine, which is mm -hmm. sixteen, which is technically above the salt and vinegar. I'm chips. still not willing to put those above salt and vinegar chips. They're better than salt and vinegar chips. They're not better than salt and vinegar. This is where we're gonna have our, our fight here. Yep. Um, technically, excuse me. If you go off the the rankings, they are better. However, I still One ranked number better. the salt and vinegar above these. So. Yeah, but I ranked it below. And I gave it a five, and you gave it a ten. That's fifteen. I gave it a nine, and you gave it a seven. All right. All That's right. sixteen. All right. I'll yield. Yes. I'll yield. Yeah. I'm still gonna take salt and vinegar preference over sour cream and onion. Um, I should have rated them lower. Mm -hmm. But I guess can't go back at this point. No, nope, it's on film. <laughs> it's on film. On but as of video. now, no one has seen that film. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be the one to edit this video because Stuart will right, cut that out. Let's go with the the Wisconsin and white cheddar, an aged white cheddar. Oh, this is a white cheddar and sour cream. Oh my gosh, they're so, so good. I know that Lay's and some other companies have a cheddar and sour cream, but it's not a white cheddar and sour yeah. cream. Yeah, and if I remember correctly, this is like a sharp cheddar, mm -hmm. which is different than just a regular cheddar. And my in my preference, the cheese, the sharper, the better. Yeah, I can't tell you what they smell like. They don't really smell like anything. No, they don't. So, all right, let's give it a try. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know that I would rank them as high as you will. No? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm a fan. They're, they're good. Um, I feel like they have a really good cheesy flavor. They do have that. I'll give you that. Hmm. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think I almost like the sour cream and onion better than this. Really? Um, yeah, there's just kind of an aftertaste to it, and I don't know if it's the sour cream, it might be, but this just kind of leaves a weird funk in my mouth. 
A weird funk a in weird your mouth. A weird funk in my mouth. So that's just kind of... So yeah, I think I'm going to rate them just below the sour cream and onion at a six. Oh man! Like, I would actually prefer the sour cream and onion over those. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. No, this is yummy. <laughs> I give it a ten. <laughs> of course you do. I rate it just above the sour cream and onion. Alright, so where are we going to... Because that puts it at 16, which ties it technically with the salt and vinegar. No, with the... Oh, with the sour cream and onion? Yeah. I would put them below the sour cream and onion. Okay. So. But above salt and vinegar? No, I would not put them above salt and vinegar. You know better than that. <laughs> How... Here's the compromise. <laughs> How about we put them here? I'm okay with that. All right. So... Looking at our ranking here. Right. Um, I think you guys can see it. Yeah, we've got sour cream and onion as number one. Salt Woo, and vinegar I win, is number I win. two. Uh, the Wisconsin aged cheddar and sour cream is number three. Sweet potato chips is number four. That's way too high. Um, the deli dill is number five. And the bacon and cheddar is number six. I don't think it should be number six. No. You don't mm -hmm. think the bacon and cheddar? I, I agree, sweet potatoes should be number six. No, the dill <laughs> should be number six. <laughs> I, I would definitely put sweet potato at number six. Um, but I will, I'm willing to concede that bacon and cheddar should not be number six. Uh-huh. Um, so I'd be willing to put <coughs> that one up. I would personally like these better than those. You can do that. You sure? Yep. Okay, so we can move sweet potato there. If these were good, like sweet potato chips, mm -hmm. I would fight you, but they're yep. not the greatest sweet potato okay. chips I've ever had. And she would know better than I would because obviously my bias is against sweet potato chips right. of any flavor, but. I think aside from this being here, this is how I would rank it. Yeah? Yeah. Where would you put salt and vinegar? I would put salt no, and vinegar. Here. No, 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 no. No way. Maybe we, even no. below sweet potato chips. No, we can't even do that. No, <laughs> that's just terrible. Um, yeah, we're going to disagree right, all there. All right, all right. So, I'm okay I with that I think this ranking. is our definitive ranking. So, yes. we have sour cream and onion, salt and vinegar, aged white cheddar and sour cream, the bacon and cheddar, sweet potato and dill. I can, I can accept that. Okay, I me would too. take the bacon and cheddar over the Wisconsin, but I'll, I'll concede and... Okay. We'll go with that. Um, yeah, so that's our thoughts and our rankings on that. So let us know in the comments what would your guess be. Obviously, you haven't tasted these. Right, what do you think your favorite flavor Or if you are from Central PA and you have tasted these, what are your thoughts? What did you rank as, like, what's your go-to for Diefenbox? Um, or even just potato chips, because a lot of these yeah. flavors are in regular potato chips. Right. So what are your thoughts there? Let us know uh, in the comments. Yeah, and we'd love to hear. As always, thanks so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And spending your time with us uh, to watch our videos. So um, let us know what you think, and we will catch you next time, guys. So take care. Bye.